Hi everyone. This video we're going to be taking a look at solving a couple of problems uh, using the rules that we learned in the, in the last video, um, De Morgan's and associativity. So let's get started. Um, let's take a look at this argument. So we have P as our premise and we see some conditional as our second premise. Uh, P and Q as our conclusion. I see Q right here uh, as a consequent. So I'm gonna need to get to P somehow. I'm I'm gonna need to get to Q somehow, and then presumably uh, once I get Q, just conjunct them. That should be that. Um, so how would I do this? Well, uh, I can either let's see what my options are. I can conjunct premises one and two and get P and not uh, P and not P then Q, but that doesn't look like it's gonna do me do anything. Um, the only other thing I can think about doing at this point is uh, I can do double negation, but I wouldn't see where I'd go with that uh, right now. Um, I can do addition though, um, so that's what I'm going to do. So P or, um, hmm. I can do P or, or whatever, uh, really. Um, I'll do P and not P. Let's get the law of excluded middle. Um, so I'll get one addition. And now that I have P or not P, I can get uh, not not P or not p. I'm getting this through three double negation. Um, now that I have that, I can get not p and not p. Um, and I'm getting this through four De Morgans. And now that I have this, I can get my modus tollens, my modus ponens. Um, so I get q and I get q through two uh, five. Uh, modus ponens. Now that I have Q, I can get P and Q through um, one six conjunction. Uh, so that's how this argument worked. So I started by addition. I got P or not P. Um, after I did the addition, I did the double negation. So I not not P or not P. After that, I did De Morgan's. I took the negation away from this P to give it not P, which uh, actually put on the right side. Um, it should actually be not P and, uh, I don't know, not P and P. So it's just pretty much this commuted, uh, if you want to be really formal about it. Um, but I mean, I, I don't really care. Uh, I guess, yeah, the, the proper the proper way uh, to do, to phrase it would have been like this, not, not P, and not and not p and p, um, so this negation right here gets taken outside. Then these two negations right here, uh, the leftmost one gets taken outside, and this or operator turns into an and operator. Um, and so yeah, once I did that, I can do modus tollens, modus ponens, and get q, and then just do conjunction, get p and q. That's the conclusion. Um, so that's the first argument. Um, let's see. Uh, let's take a look at the second argument now. Um, so let's see. Uh, so when I have a bunch of premises here, um, let's see where I should get started. I have G by itself. I can use G for something. I have R and P and Q. Uh, I can shift these around to get a couple of different, um, a couple of different uh, propositions. I can get R or I can get um, I can get P. And I can also get Q, so just depending on what I need, uh, I can get different things. Um, I see I have G and Q or L, then not M. Uh, then I have not M or I, then J. Uh, and my conclusion is not not R or not I or J. Uh, I'm not really sure where to get started. Um, I do see uh, not G and Q or L, though. So that's what I'm going to try to get. Um, so let's see. Let me try to get Q. Uh, so I'm going to get R and uh, P. I'm going to put these in parentheses. Uh, I'm going to get R and P and Q. And I'm going to get this through um, to associativity. Um, now that I have this, I can, I'm going to get Q and R and P. I'm going to get this through 5 commutative, and then, then I'm going to get Q. And I'm going to get Q through uh, 6 simplification. 
Um, another way you could have done things is um, you actually could have commuted these two to get P and Q and R and then commuted uh, P and Q to get Q and P and then commuted um, you know I uh, Q and P to get Q, but I think that would have added like significantly more steps. Instead of doing it in two, it would have take in two or three steps. It would have taken me probably, uh, as I showed you in the last video, like six. Uh, so I think this is the quickest way. Um, so now I have Q free. I'm gonna get G and Q through uh, one seven uh, through one seven conjunction. Uh, now that I have G and Q, I'm gonna get G and Q or uh, L through uh, 8 addition. Now that I have G and Q or L, uh, I'm able to get not M through 3, uh, 9 conjunction. Now that I have not M, I see I have uh, an M right here by its, uh, an M or I right here. But I can't do anything with the I next to it. Um, so uh, if I get rid of that, I can set up a disjunctive syllogism. So I'm going to get M or I or J. Um, so I get that through for associativity. Um, then I get I or J. And I get that through um, 10, 11 uh, disjunctive syllogism. Now let's see uh, what my conclusion is. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna get R. Um, so I'm gonna get uh, R through two simplification. Um, and now that I have R, I'm gonna get R and uh, I or J. Put these in parentheses. Um, now that I have this, uh, I'm gonna get, and I get this through, um, 12, uh, 13 conjunction. Um, and just as a reminder, um, when you conjunct, it doesn't matter what order you put them in. So you can get I and J and R, or you can get R and I or J. Um, so yeah, it's just a reminder. Um, and after I do that, um, I'm going to use a double negation on R. So I'm going to get not, not R and uh, I or J. Uh, and I'm going to get this through um, 14 uh, double negation. And I'm going to get not, not R or not uh, I. I or J, and um, I'm just gonna put these in brackets to separate out the negation, uh, and that's the conclusion that we wanted, and I got that through uh, 15 De Morgans. Um, so as you can see, um, you know uh, we started off by uh, doing some associativity which saves us a couple steps in commuting, uh, simplifying, uh, conjuncting, um, then after that doing addition to help us get modus ponens. Once we got this not M right here, uh, we were able to use associativity again to do a disjunctive syllogism. Once we get I or J, we're going to simplify this R, conjunct, uh, do double negation, and then we get our conclusion. Um, so these arguments weren't too bad. Um, so yeah, these are just two new rules, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.